Good morning. This is Suffragist. The 2nd of November. A reading from Jeremiah, the 5th chapter. But even in those days, says the Lord, I will not make a full end of you. And when your people say, Why has the Lord our God done all these things to us? You shall say to them, As you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land, so you shall serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, proclaim it in Judah. Hear this, so foolish and senseless people, who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear. Do you not fear me, says the Lord? Do you not tremble before me? I place the sea and sand as a boundary for the sea, a perpetual barrier that it cannot pass. Though the waves toss, they cannot prevail. Though they roar, they cannot pass over it. But this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart. They have turned aside and gone away. They do not say in their hearts, let us fear the Lord our God and gives the rain in its season, the autumn rain and the spring rain, and keeps for us the weeks appointed for the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these away, and your sins have deprived you of good. For scoundrels are found among my people. They take over the goods of others. Like fowlers, they set a trap, and they catch human beings. Like a cage full of birds, their houses are full of treachery. Therefore, they have become great and rich. They have grown fat and sleek. They know no limits in deeds of wickedness. They do not judge with justice the cause of the orphan to make it prosper. And they do not defend the rights of the needy. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not bring retribution on a nation such as this? An appalling and horrible thing has happened in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule as the prophets direct. My people love to have it so. But what will you do when the end comes? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the 2nd of November. In 1996, the first world Christian gathering of indigenous people took place in Rotorua, New Zealand. Founded by a Maori couple, Mont and Lisa Linda Ohia, the World Christian Gathering is a coming together of the world's indigenous peoples to worship the Creator and celebrate their traditional cultures. <clears throat> the great preacher and civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. said, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly.
Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, generous and supreme, your loving Son lived among us, instructing us in the ways of humility and justice. Continue to ease our burdens and lead us to serve alongside of him, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord God, you call your people to honor those in authority. Help us elect trustworthy leaders. Participate in wise decisions for our common life and serve our neighbors in local communities. Bless the leaders of our land that we may be at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, we are so used to seeing ourselves as individuals with personal destinies. Remind us that we are made in your image, the image of community. Help us to love each other and be made one as you are one. Whisper your love to us and let us whisper your love to the world today. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you'll do so again soon. We pray three times a day, morning, evening, and night. If you'd like to know more about atonement, how to join us, how to support us, you can find information in the links below. Today is the 2nd of November. If you have not voted, please make a plan right now to do so. It's too late to mail a ballot. It's probably necessary to use one of the drop-off boxes or to vote in person at your local polling place. If you do so, please be safe, wear a mask, sanitize your hands, and be respectful of those uh, who need distance because of their immunocompromised position or because they're worried for their health. If you need help voting, there are agencies that will assist you. I'm sure your local board of elections would be happy to assist you. And there are doubtless many churches and nonprofits in your area that would help you as well. If you don't live in the United States, please pray for this nation at this time. Pray that God will give us a safe, fair election and a peaceful transfer of power should a different president be elected. I think that's everything. So, till the next time, God bless you.